Welcome to Bioradio Do's and Don'ts. In this video, I'll go over the essentials of respiratory and depth dense flesh mammography, or rip belts for short. Rip belts come in pairs of varying sizes. I'll go over the do's and don'ts for measuring respirations for both chest and abdominal measurements. In a nutshell, these belts give us a snapshot of lung volume by measuring the expansion and compression of the cross section of the diaphragm as you inhale and exhale. In other words, rip belts measure respiratory effort, the means of how you breathe. Do number one, do make sure you have an interface cable for each belt. The interface cable connects each belt with the bioradio. The interface cable is an accessory that is not included with a pair of belts. Don't number one, don't just use any arbitrary rip belt. Rip belts that are too large or too small will not provide accurate measurements and you do not want to overstretch the belt. Here's a spoiler alert, rip belts run small. For adult monitoring, a large size belt is actually best for adults who wear small sizes. An extra large should be adequate for most adults and a 2XL is for big guys. Do number two. Do know the configuration and filtering settings for the rip belts. The input on the bioradio should be set to DC plus or minus 18 millivolts in the advanced settings of the config panel. For custom filtering, select a low pass Butterworth filter with a 1 Hz cutoff. Number 2. Don't use a chest interface cable for abdominal measurements and vice versa. If you're monitoring abdominal and chest measurements at the same time, two identical interface cables will interfere with one another. Make sure you ID your interface cables as chest and abdominal before you begin. Do number 3. Do understand that you're looking at qualitative values of lung volume with the rip belts. Analysis tools are available for quantitative values such as tidal volume, breath volumes, and rates. Don't number three. Don't assume rip belts last forever. Rip belts are semi-reusable and are not meant for long-term use. Belts are guaranteed for a normal use of about 70 studies for 60 days. A rip belt that produces no signal data in biocapture will need to be replaced. This covers all the essentials of respiratory effort monitoring with the rip belts and the bioradio. Please refer to our quick start guide for more information and feel free to contact us with any questions, comments, or concerns.